We'll now show you how to use the pneumatic finger attachment. First, install the pneumatic finger's three-way air fitting into the air bearing. Remove the old stylus bracket assembly and install the pneumatic finger bracket assembly. Insert the carbide stylus into the stylus holder and leave the set screw loose. Place a quarter inch setup pin into a quarter inch collet. Set the air valve to the up position and dial finger away from the wheel until it stops. Set the height of the stylus to the center line of the air spindle by bringing the carbide stylus up to the quarter inch setting pin. If the carbide stylus happens to be too long, you'll need to grind the bottom of the stylus off to fit. You will need to re reposition the pneumatic finger bracket so that the stylus is directly under the point of the setting pin. Tighten the set screw for the stylus holder and tighten the stylus bracket screw. Oh. When using a pneumatic finger, the motor angle is left at zero. If needing more or less clearance, the motor angle can be adjusted accordingly. For more clearance, raise the motor in the positive direction and lower the motor for less clearance. With the motor left at zero and using the pneumatic finger, the tools will be ground to the same clearance as shown on the chart. With the switch in the up position, dial the knob until the stylus rests underneath the flute you are sharpening. Position stylus at the right edge of the wheel as done before. And proceed to sharpen your primary angles. Secondary angle is achieved by flipping the switch down. <laughs> 